Eight and a half years have passed since the Fukushima nuclear disaster. Areas just outside the Fukushima Daiichi power plant are still off limits and have been largely untouched since the accident. Inside, about 4,000 workers engage in the daunting task of decommissioning the facility, expected to take decades to complete. As decontamination work has progressed, 96% of the premises are now accessible without protective gear. But the plant is faced with many difficult issues, including the ever-increasing water contaminated with radioactive materials. Numerous gigantic tanks are filled with such water after processing. The water that goes into the tank is colorless and odorless. A radiation dosimeter shows no changes. Water at the plant gets contaminated with radioactive substances as it keeps melted nuclear fuel inside reactors cool. In addition, 160 tons of underground water seep into reactors every day and come into contact with the fuel. The advanced liquid processing system can remove radioactive substances like cesium and strontium from contaminated water, but not tritium. That is why the treated water is kept at the plant, stored in tanks. There are nearly 1,000 of them now. This is what the area looked like just after the nuclear accident. TEPCO says there are currently about 1.16 million tons of stored water. A new tank is being built every 10 days. Space is expected to run out in three years. There is debate on what to do with the water in these tanks. Some experts see no safety issues in diluting the water and releasing it into the ocean. Tritium exists naturally in small amounts. Countries have been discharging diluted tritium water from nuclear plants into the sea based on their respective standards. But locals are against the idea as it could further discourage consumption of Fukushima products. This fishing port is located 45 kilometers from the nuclear plant. Takahashi knows firsthand how the lingering image of radioactive contamination continues to hurt the local fishery business. All fish species caught off Fukushima are checked for radioactive substances. None were detected in any of the 54 species this day. A restaurant near the port goes out of its way to serve fish from Fukushima. But ingredients are limited as trial fishing operations off the prefecture are conducted only twice a week. Locals are hoping the Japanese government and TEPCO will make a responsible decision on what to do with the tritium water accumulating at the plant in their backyard.